don't even want to use it. Four heroes dead. They don't know that Beast Ghost has no buybacks, but they're going to try oh. to force them. Oh, no. And there are no buybacks, so this might actually be thrown. With Exorcism and the Bear, they're the just going for it. Like Milo is back, they have a skewer to the fountain, the Yule stops it! He doesn't have BKB yet, doesn't have RP either! He gets silenced! Sacred! Goodbye! Instant buyback! Buy immediately, that Milo activates BKB, he'll be the distraction for now! Where's the skewer? Just He's just gonna put the sleep! Wake up, Sacred! Wake up! The team needs you! It's too late! He didn't set off his alarm, Jenkins! He is done! EG will eliminate Beast Ghost from the tournament! Too low! Holy shit! Nobody picked up the fucking shard, Jenkins. I can't believe it. <laughs> Your prediction was wrong. I am losing it was my wrong. mind. Man, that was a crazy fight because EG, they kind of blundered the black hole and Matthew TP'd out. That four staff in from Stinger, man, forcing Hector in. And it just goes to show if you die in this patch and you don't have buyback, I mean, it's just the lone drew DP factor. They couldn't deal with it. They were, they were going throne not to get the throne, but to force buybacks. There just weren't any. They had bought out on all of their heroes. What a call from EG to end the game there, because that game could have gone either way. The game was like a 1K gold lead for EG. That's just the Agatham Shard in the Roche Pit. Yes. That could have turned it for Beast Coast. Yes. Beast Coast for their home crowd. They're unfortunately out for now. EG will be taking them down. It was SA versus SA. At least one SA team makes it through, but that won't be Beast Coast today. Their second draft looked really good for yeah, them. Yeah, yeah. EG, they, they are, I mean, it's one series, but they look back in form. They, look re they looked really shook yesterday, to be honest. Uh, this looks like the EG we saw on the group stage. This looks like the South American super team that everybody expected them to be. So, uh, yeah, I have high hopes that this is going to be the, uh, the lower bracket Grim Reaper that we were used to from... Beast Coast last year, now it's EG. Let's see now, as they get the handshake, a very important one, a very meaningful one. Lots of these guys played yeah. together. Chris Luck, of course, hugging everybody. So does Matthew. Uh, oh, no, he only hugs his ex-teammates. Right, right, right. The, the, everybody else is sacred. Chase. So does Panda. You can see the good relationship between them. This wasn't a spiteful match like no, many no, would no. want to do. They I think that like Mago's trying to kiss him. Oh, he did. Bit of a kiss. He kissed bit him. Bit of a kiss. We've got the kiss gun we're looking for. These Jenkins. guys love each other, dude. There's only love in the stadium, bro. It really is. For anyone that thought there was any bad blood between the teams, they just of broke Of course wrong. not. Of course not. These guys are as wholesome as they come. Yeah. Oh, look. They're actually walking down together. Chris Luck is rejoining Beast Coast. They're, they're on the same team. Let's be real. Chris Luck does not know he has to do an interview <laughs> right now. He doesn't realize there's a tournament going on. Yeah, he, thought he, this, he thought this was a scrim. Yeah, actually. He was about to not show up. He thinks he's actually just went to his friend's house yeah, to play yeah, land, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, who are all these people, man? My friends like to party. Yep. Chris Luck does like to party, he I does. will say. I'll be doing some partying with him tonight. If there's anyone that has this many friends, it will be Chris Luck. 8,000 <laughs> people, that's his WhatsApp list. That's right, that's yeah. right. This man is popular. Yeah. He's was... very popular. More popular now that he's uh, he's in the money, the big money, the the big money. I mean, the reputation of being a top. Of course, player. the reputation. The that's reputation. what it's all about. That's what it's all about. Right. Oh look, he whispers, ignoring all singing. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I'm not, I'm not signing things. This man's the best off laner Matthew's in the world. just taking people's stuff. He's now. just grabbing their shit just in case he, you know, they eliminated. Well, next. they they do call him Walter White, so he is a criminal. That's true. Oh, oh, oh. stealing people. Whispers oh one my god! Oh, the whisper. one whisper signature the one? in the history of Dota. I can't believe it. The the reason he's what, not what humility, Jenkins. What what <laughs> true show? He signed of one thing and then he just leaves. <laughs> <laughs> He's done. He's done. That's He's it done for his him. work for the day. That's the social interaction for him for the year. <laughs> Dota players, they don't go outside, so. No. no. That's, uh, that's it for him. Yeah, that's why this arena is so uncomfortable, because it's actually outside. It, it, is, it is literally outside, so but, that, that's why there's so many people here. But you know who's outside slash inside the arena is our lovely panel, and they'll hopefully break down this game for us as we wait for the uh, potential interview to start. So take care, and see you guys soon.